Kelly, look, I think we can all agree that there is never a bad time for wine. <laughs> so your weekend is about to get real good. That's because the Sherwood Wine Festival is here. It's a two day, uh, it's two days that you can just relax and enjoy some wine vendors. And it's being hosted by the Rotary Club of Sherwood. So today I have one of their three presidents and wine festival chair here to tell me more, Chuck Britton. Hi, Chuck. Hello, Ashley. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> Just tell me about this Sherwood Wine Fest. This Wine Fest is a, a two-day event. It's starting tonight with a, a winemaker's dinner that we're hosting over at the Sherwood Art Center in downtown Sherwood. The event is nearly all sold out at this point in time, but it's continuing tomorrow afternoon from noon to 7 o'clock at the Sherwood Art Center as well with a selection of, of great Oregon wineries and we'll have about a dozen wineries and food vendors and music there as well. All the stuff that we love. <laughs> but this isn't your first year with the Wine Festival. What's the history of this uh, Sherwood Wine Fest? The Wine Festival started about six years ago and it was a Deb Yangarello, who owns 503 Uncorked, a great little local wine bar here in town, decided that she would start a wine festival to support the workers in the industry and be a fundraiser for them. And she ran it for about three years. And then she decided that it was becoming too large and it was a big event. And she decided to give it over to the Rotary Club a couple of years ago to run the event as one of our fundraisers and that uh, that was the year that COVID hit so the event for the last two years hasn't occurred this is the first full year with Rotary taking it over and running the event and we hope to make it our annual big fundraiser from this point forward yes I'm glad you touched on that because I know you guys are hosting this year but what is Rotary Club for anybody out there who doesn't know Rotary Club is a it's an international service organization so it's made up of people who come together to basically solve problems locally, regionally, internationally. We, we, do, uh, we do local service projects. We're advocating for peace uh, and we're advocating for women. We're advocating for education. We do a lot of international student exchange programs. And our club is currently partnering with a club in Colombia to do a water project where we're building clean water systems all the way from the top of the hill down to the bottom of the hill so that oh my the people gosh, at the bottom. So amazing. Can you tell everyone out there where they can go for more information on the Rotary Club and also to purchase some tickets so they can come out and support you guys? You betcha. So the, the uh, website for the actual Sherwood Wine Festival is super complicated. It's SherwoodWineFestival.com. And for information about Rotary, you can go to is rotary for you.com and that will take you to a site where you can find all about, find out about rotary and everything there and find a club that's nearby to you if you'd like to join it and i would i would encourage everybody to, to show up now tomorrow afternoon we'll be opening at one o'clock twenty dollars admissions buys you at this this fine custom wine glass <laughs> <laughs> i yep. can't wait it sounds amazing and tons yes. of things Awesome food available from. Oh, look at that. Okay, Chuck. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here, Chuck. I cannot wait for people to come out and support you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you.